friends, I am Anika Larson, aka Green Mom AF, and this is the Broadway vlog to save the planet where I want to help you go from feeling helpless and hopeless to helpful and hopeful, which is what the UN Global Goals for Sustainability did for me. Today we're talking about goal number five, gender equality. Sing it, Gregory. Gender equality. And here to talk about it with us is Broadway star Laura Bell Bundy. Hi, Laura. Hi, Anika. Okay, Laura, so you have been acting since you were a kid. I did not know that. Yes. Nine <laughs> years old. Wow. What was your very first professional gig that you, like, got paid for? Radio City Music Hall's Christmas Spectacular. <laughs> OMG. Okay, so since then, you have done a ton of TV and film. You're a country music singer. You're a director and a producer. You starred on Broadway, of course, in Hairspray, Wicked, Legally Blonde. And you're coming back to us. You're coming back to Broadway this summer in the cottage, right? Yes, I'm thrilled. I'm so excited. Okay, so global goal number five. Gender equality. Hey, Laura, what exactly is the goal of this goal? Well, it is to achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls. Yes! Sing it, Gregory. Achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls. What this goal is saying is that gender bias is undermining our social fabric and devalues all of us. It is not just a human rights issue. It is a tremendous waste of the world's human potential. By denying women equal rights, we deny half the population a chance to live life at its fullest. Political, economic, and social equality for women will benefit all the world's citizens. Together, we can eradicate prejudice and work for equal rights and respect for all. Okay, I think it needs to be said that the UN Global Goals, they were created and adopted by all the 193 member nations, which means that for many, many countries, uh, just saying that women should be empowered and have equal rights is controversial. But those of us who have the freedom to need to shout at the top of our lungs that gender equality means equality for all genders, that gender bias also means bias against people who don't conform to the binary, and that it's bias against all LGBTQIA plus people. We have to insist that this is the global goal, working to fight for equal rights and respect and empowerment for all people, regardless of their place on the gender spectrum and regardless of the gender of the people they love. Okay, Laura. <laughs> Yes. You started a nonprofit and you have a podcast by the same name called Women of Tomorrow, both of which address global goal number five. Will you please tell everyone about them? Sure. So um, Women of Tomorrow is a companion piece to our album, Women of Tomorrow, and every song delves into a different issue that women are facing today. The podcast goes deeper into those issues, examines the history of those issues, and includes a special guest to talk about um, their experience or expertise in the area and how we can move forward. Um, and Women of Tomorrow, as a foundation and organization, um, works in alliance with other organizations that benefit women's rights and equality. We're here working together. What can we do to make change? How can we be the change in the world? How can we examine our own belief systems and limiting beliefs so that we can feel truly empowered to step forth in the world? Okay. Now, globally, if we widen the lens out, some of the targets are... The targets! And all forms of discrimination against all women, girls, and gender nonconforming people everywhere. And all violence against and exploitation of women, girls, and gender nonconforming people. Eliminate all forced marriages and genital mutilation. Value unpaid care and domestic work and share responsibilities within households and families. Ensure women's and gender nonconforming people's full participation in leadership and decision making. Ensure universal access to sexual and reproductive health and reproductive rights. Give women equal rights to economic resources, property, ownership, financial services, and technology. Okay, these are big targets and you might be wondering what you can do to help. What can I do? Our problems can seem so massive and the solutions so out of our control that it feels overwhelming. But there is always something you can do, always something that's manageable for you in your life. If we all just keep trying to do the next right thing. Do the next right thing. Together we can achieve these goals. Yes, we can. 
Of course, you can always find a Goal 5 charity and make a donation, big or small. CharityWatch.org is a great place to find organizations doing amazing work for women. Women earn 20 to 40% less than men for the same work across the globe. Voice your support to politicians and in the workplace for equal pay, for equal work, and support union efforts on this issue. Stand up against harassment wherever you see it, whether it's the workplace, streets, home, or online. Find female mentors. There's a lot you can learn from women in positions of authority. If you're not sure if someone is male, female, or non-binary, ask them their pronouns or just default to they. What, like it's hard? Share the workload equitably at home, particularly if you have children who are learning by your example. And always, stay informed and vote. Vote. Vote! Alrighty. As always, we end the Broadway vlog to save the planet with the lightning round. The lightning round! We're gonna start the clock now. What rich character in a musical would be most likely to give away all their money if they really understood the devastating effects of income inequality? Daddy Warbucks from Annie, the King of Siam from The King and I, Ava Perone from Evita, Benny from Rent, Captain Von Trapp from The Sound of Music. I think Ava Perone. Really? I was going to say Elle Woods, but you didn't give me that option. What is your favorite snack to eat when you're in the thick of tech? Oh, Lay's potato chips. What role have you always wanted to play but have never gotten to play because you were quote unquote the wrong gender? Jean Valjean. If we could generate the power to light Broadway shows through human exertion, would you rather do it by tap dancing, blowing a trombone, or bench pressing ushers? <laughs> tap dancing. What is the worst survival job you ever had? I thought I was going to start a basket making business at one point, and I spent more money like buying the stuff you put in the basket. So it was not a survival job. It like put me in survival mode um, because being an entrepreneur costs money, and I didn't know that. If there was a blackout and you were trapped inside a theater, where would you go to feel the most safe? What I really want to say is go to the male ensemble room and look around. True or false? Theater makers, as storytellers, are uniquely positioned to shine a light on inequality and injustice and to help rectify it. In order for people's minds to change, their hearts must be opened first. And so theater makers have a great opportunity to open a heart. And by telling a story or making someone laugh, laughter is a heart opener. And then they're ready to listen. And minds can be changed. And then votes can. Who has been one of your favorite people to work with in this business? Betty Buckley. I did a production of Gypsy at Paper Mill Playhouse when I was 17, and I would watch Betty Buckley do Rose's turn in The Wings. And I had, and it was like the first time I saw someone perform in such a raw way. And one night, she, she would change it every night, and one night she just ripped off her pearls, and they just went everywhere. And I was like, mm, that's acting. Thank you, Laura, and thank you for watching. My friends, if you're ever feeling down about it all, please know that the climate revolution is a groundswell of people working towards shared prosperity on a healthy planet. With more and more people every day out there innovating, problem solving, making good trouble, all in the ways that make sense for them and who they are, and you can too. Arthur Ashe said, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Let's all just do the next right thing and together we are going to make a greener and fairer and more prosperous world.